Hi, my name is Yaniv, and this is the second part of Introduction to Puppeteer. In the first part, we spoke about how Puppeteer works behind the scenes, and I showed you how Chrome DevTools works, and what is Chrome DevTools. In this part, I want to show how easy it is to get Puppeteer up and running in just a few lines of code. And let's just go straight in. So I will have an empty folder. I will do npm init. And I'll do npm install for Puppeteer. When Puppeteer installs, uh, you automatically have Chromium installed. You will now see it. So no need for any special setup here. It's all inside the installation of Puppeteer. And let's start with just simple node, no tests for now. So I will just create an index file and open it. And let's start with importing Puppeteer. And I will use self-invoking function because I need async await here at top level. And let's start with browser. So we have a browser instance. And I will have a new tab opened for this browser, so it is called page. And this will actually open a new tab for me, a new empty tab for me. And now let's navigate, let's do something like okay, let's go to and that's it. Now Puppeteer is default to headless Chromium, so I will do something like headless false because I want to see what, what's going on behind the scenes. And let's just run this node process. And as you can see, we have Chromium opened with Wix.com. Super easy, in just a few lines of code. Let's recap. We just installed Puppeteer in an empty project. I imported Puppeteer. I launched Puppeteer. The launcher is actually just opening the browser. I opened a new tab. New page is actually opening a new tab for me. And I just navigated. And I can, I can do all kinds of cool things, like for example, I can take the title. So I can do and console it. Let's run this again. It will open Chromium for us. And we see the title here. So this was part two of our introduction to Puppeteer, which just let you see how easy it is to start and get running with Puppeteer. In the next part, I will show you how easy it is to start testing with Puppeteer. So stay tuned. Bye.